Here is a little more complex expression that I want to work out with you. And I want to, want to do it in two ways. I want to do it in the standard dumb calculator mode. And I want to do it in the smart scientific calculator mode. It will probably take a few videos to work through this problem. But I think it's a good exercise and probably a good review of the things that we have covered up to this point. So I'm going to bring up two Windows calculators. Notice that they are already in scientific mode. I'm going to put one in standard mode. And again, remember that standard mode means it's not going to consider order of operations or precedence, as we call that in computer science. It will simply eagerly evaluate and gobble up the operands and operators as we give them to it. Whereas the scientific calculator, it will consider order of operations and, and evaluate this expression uh, correctly. All right, so let's just do that. I'm going to, in both calculators, like I did on the previous video, I'm going to type this expression in. And at some point, the results will be different. And let's see when that is. So 3 and 3 times times 4, 4, plus, plus 6, 6, divide, divide, notice. Here we go. The scientific calculator is smart enough to realize, hey, divide has higher precedence than the plus that is behind the 6. So I'm going to wait for my next input, which is going to be a 2, whereas the standard calculator just said, oh, OK, you want me to divide the result by, or you, you, what's 3 times 4 plus 6? That's 18. Oh, now we're going to divide that by 2. So that's what the standard calculator is doing here. Anyway, so you can kind of see the difference here. Uh, so we're going to divide both 2, 2, plus, plus, 2, 2, times, times, 5, 5, equal, equal. So here's the difference. The correct result, considering the precedence of the operators, is 25, and the um, poor man's result is 55. And it actually kind of was interesting to see my son work through this problem and, and be scratch his head a little bit on how two calculators could come up with uh, incorrect results, OK? Well, I want to write an assembly program that will come up with both results. I'm going to write one. First of all, we'll go into standard mode, or simplistic mode, or stupid mode, as I may refer to it, uh, to come up with this value and eagerly gobble up the operands and operators as we go forward. And then we will do it in probably another video for the scientific mode. All right, but first things first, let's draw the expression tree for both of them. Okay, I think that'll be quite handy. Let's, um, I'm gonna make some white space here. And uh, I think we'll go down. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that down there, have our expression here up at the top as high as possible. And we'll draw both expression trees side by side and contrast and compare them. And again, with building expression trees, I think the easiest way to do it visually, obviously computers do it a little differently. The algorithms to do it in compilers is a little different. But visually, I just like to say, hey, what's the thing that is going to happen last? Because I know that will be the root of my tree. Well, in standard mode, and I'll even type that up right here. Can I do a smaller font? We'll say, OK, standard mode we'll do over here. And scientific mode. We'll do right there. Standard mode. What's the last thing that will happen in standard mode? Well, again, the calculator gobbles up everything as you go forward as fast as it can. So the last operation to happen will be this multiply, even though it has higher precedence than this addition here. So let me just put the multiply at the top. and I'll put it right here, like so. Circle that. And then what's the next thing that will happen right before the multiply? Well, that's going to be the plus. All right, so we'll put the plus over here. That's the left operand. The result of the plus will be the left operand of the multiply. Uh, the right operand of the multiply is the 5. OK, well, what's the, what's the right operand of this plus? And I'm on this plus right here. What's the right operand? Well, it's a 2. OK, so I'll put the 2 right here. And what is the left operand? of the plus. Well, you might think it's a 2, but it's actually the result of the previous operator, which is the divide. So I'll put the divide right here. That's a divide symbol. And then, so one thing to keep 
in check or in mind as you're building these expression trees is that each node has one parent and only one parent, which is true. The plus sign has only one parent node. And then each node has only two children. In the case of binary operators, each of these operators you can see has a left and a right and a left and a right and a left and a right. So these are binary operators. Thus the bi, like in the word bicycle, means two, which means each operator will have uh, two child nodes. Okay, now there are unary operators, we're not using any of those in here, and there are actually ternary operators in programming, but we're not using any of those as well. So for now, just keep in mind that each operator has two operands. Well, what is the right operand of the divide sign? Well, it is this two, not this two, it's this two here, so I'll put that two there. And then what's the left operand? Well, again, it looks like the six, but it's actually the result of this plus. So I'll put the plus like so. And then again, we just keep going on down, on down. The right operand of the plus is the 6. The left operand is uh, not the 4, it's the multiply. And then finally, sure enough, the right operand of the multiply is the 4. The left operand is the 3 here. We have no more operators. So there you go. You can kind of see this tree's a little skewy wampus is that a word I don't even know but I've heard it before it's kind of like if I took this thing and actually tried to put this as the bottom if I flip this whole thing over uh, it'd be off balance it's not a balanced tree it would fall to the side this is a heavy side and this side's not uh, so heavy so probably not a tree you want to buy at your uh, local nursery but anyway this this is this is how it is and the reason why it's off balance is because we have to force order of operations. The order is multiply plus divide plus multiply. This is standard calculator. Another word for standard is stupid. All right. And I actually was quite proud of my son this morning as he was working out this problem. He, uh, it was hard for him to think stupidly. So that was kind of nice. Let's, let's think intelligently now. Okay. What, what is the last thing that is going to happen in this, this expression here? Uh, if we consider order of precedence. Maybe the easier question is to say, well, what are the first things that will happen uh, considering order of precedence? Pause the video, think about it, and then come back. Hopefully you figured it out. Let me, let me kind of walk you through it. Again, multiply and divide. Multiply and divide, they all have the same uh, order of precedence, meaning they're all on the same level. And so at that point, then we go left to right. So the first thing will happen will be this, and the second thing this, and third thing's this. In fact, let me actually draw numbers under here. Like so. Well, what is going to be the fourth and fifth thing to happen? Well, we have two plus signs. They have less precedence than the multiply and divide, but they're on the same level of precedence. And so at that point, we simply work our way left to right again. So this will happen fourth and this will happen fifth. All right, well, since this is the last thing that's going to happen, that's going to be at the top of our tree, so I'll put that plus sign here, and then what are the, what, what's the right and what's the left operands to that plus? Pause the video, think about it. Okay, well, this plus has, on its left, it has a divide, and on the right, it has a multiply, but wait a minute. I think it'll be clear if I erase this. We can kind of see it a little bit better now, but I'm going to keep our numbers on the screen. The fourth thing to happen will be this plus. Okay, so this plus has to happen um, after the divide and after this multiply. So really it looks like 6 divided by 2 is the left operand of this plus, when actually it's not, because all of this will evaluate first before we get to this plus. All right, so that's my, that's the logic, not my logic, that's the logic there. So the fourth thing, well, here, here's our, here's this plus. I'm gonna put our four, an, our, our number four operation here is right here. Okay, well, what's the right operand of the plus? Well, the right operand of this plus is the multiply here. So here's our multiply. And then the left operand of the multiply is the 2. And the right operand of the multiply is the 5. Okay, so I think, just kind of 
kind of help our sanity here, I'm going to scribble out what we're done with. We're done with that. We're done with that. We have this plus sign here, which is this right here. It needs two operands. It is a binary operator as well. So what are the two operands of this plus symbol here? This one right here. Pause the video and think about it if necessary. Well, again, this plus symbol will happen after the 6 divided by 2 and after the 3, div three times 4. So the times will be right here. And the divide right here, you see how the times is the left operand of the plus, and the divide is the right operand of the plus. So there's our right operand on this plus, and here's the multiply left operand of the plus. So I got the multiply, I got the divide, I got the plus, but what's the divide? Maybe I shouldn't have scribbled that out quite yet. What's the divide's uh, two operands? It needs two operands as well. So here I'll draw them for you. Well, the right's two operand. Well, the right is a two, and the left is a six. And we also call these leaf nodes. They're at the bottom of the tree. They're out there. They're not branches. These are called branches. These are called leaves. Hopefully, that is intuitive as to why. The multiply operator, what are its two operands? Well, again, maybe I shouldn't have scribbled that out. The left one is a three, and the right one is a four. So three, four. And so that takes care of this, and this, and all that. Now, that's kind of cool. Here's our standard dumb calculator uh, expression tree, and here's our scientific uh, expression tree. Something to keep in mind, though, is that we can certainly turn a scientific expression tree into a dumb expression tree. It's actually rather simple in regular programming, or even in your math, your algebra, or whatever. You simply wrap everything with parentheses like this. So we're going to do the 3 times 4 first. And then we'll do the plus 6 next. And then we'll do the divided by 2 next. And then we'll do the add by 2 next. And then multiply by 2 again. So that's how the standard calculator thinks. But we can also force that with parentheses for sure. Uh, same thing with the scientific calculator, except I don't believe the Windows scientific calculator. Oh, it does have parentheses. Look at that. I've never never actually used them. I'm curious and I'm going to try doing this live but uh, let's just let's try doing this. I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna force this scientific calculator to be stupid and if we do it correctly remember the answer we will receive is 55 so um, here we go let's let's try it out. 3 oh I didn't even do my parentheses. I gotta do my parentheses. How many parentheses am I going to need? I erased them. That's so horrible of me Let's see, we need that one, we need that one, we need that one. You see how many parentheses we have at the beginning here? That's why I had to draw all these parentheses out again, because I didn't know how many parentheses I'm going to have out there on the left. So it looks like we need one, two, three, four, five parentheses. So let's try that. One, two, three, four, five parentheses. And then three times four parentheses plus... Where's my plus? Right here. Plus 6, parenthesis, divide by 2, parenthesis, plus 2, parenthesis, times 5, parenthesis. There we go. <laughs> 55, 55. So yeah, you can, and I think that's, that's why it was so unnatural for my son this morning to try to draw this expression tree because he wanted to think correctly and he's not th used to thinking incorrectly and so really maybe I didn't point out the parentheses maybe I should teach him about the parentheses and force him show him look you can be stupid you can have all these parentheses out here and force left to right precedence with a scientific calculator maybe I'll do that when I get home anyway